the idea of a school project is to help kids in Africa learn, apply skills, teach them how to open businesses, and also help them create jobs in the community. Mm -hmm. We believe that education can be a powerful channel through which we can fight poverty. Okay. Um, briefly, it, it started back in 2005 in Cameroon. Uh, I just was just finishing my, my, my master in international finance at the International Relations Institute of Cameroon. Despite being a top student uh, in that kind of Ivy League school, I did not have a job at the end. Um, it was challenging. Uh, part of it is because social political context, governance uh, play a key role in that. Well, I did not want to go back in the farm where I grew up. So I decided to stay in the capital. And I remember that my classmate was sharing earlier that I have a good teaching skills. And I asked myself, why don't I start a business, a tutoring business to help kids from disadvantaged background that want to get into graduate school? So many of them have a bachelor, they want to access graduate school, but they could not because either they don't they were not well prepared for the competitive entrance exam, or sometimes they do not know anyone to recommend them or to mentor them. So I took up on that challenge to create that business at the time. Mm -hmm. And as I was succeeding in that business, one, one of the students came to me and said, Hey, you're doing it you're doing it for all the people. Mm -hmm. Or you know, um, graduate student, have you thought about doing it for younger kids? And uh, that's where the vision comes from. Okay. And uh, at the time, I did not know exactly what to focus on. I know I wanted education to be a platform for kids to discover the potential, but I did not know exactly what to specialize for. Right. So that's the story of flourishing seed that we want to build is that there's a void in, for kids to learn applied skills. Mm -hmm and to change the environment, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, I do not have a focus until I move to the US to have a vision through that. Um, one thing that is key for the school is, uh, it's a unique value advantage that we are bringing on the table. I have a chance to go to school in Africa, work in Africa, go to school in the US, work in the U.S. as an entrepreneur and also as uh, in the education field as an instructor of macroeconomy. So that gave me a unique perspective into designing a classroom where I understand what is culturally fit and then what kind of skills children are needed to be able to solve, you know, mm -hmm. problem in the community. So the way classroom is designed, one, number one, is small size. We are not planning more than 30 students per classroom. And second, it's going to be more applied skills. So even if we all have to conform with the government in terms of curriculum in place, but we are still considering to have a different way of teaching students. A lot of case scenario, mm -hmm. where instructor is definitely using practical example. Maybe it's our mom in the village not being able to sell the corn how can we help them sell it at a better price? Maybe a student might think about design and apps that mom can use on the smartphone to mm -hmm. find, you know, a buyer for the product. Right. So those kind of simple things. And third, what we want to do is that, like the same way in uh, in the US, kids have field trip where they go uh, in the community, in museum. We're planning to do every other week kids going into businesses. We're going to partner with local businesses. Kids can have hands-on exposure into how business work. And number fifth is the, the business incubator. We are planning to have an applied field where kids are going to spend at least two to three days a week or a couple of hours a week in those business incubators. And the reason being that they can not only do simulation, of negotiation, they can do also apply the things they are learning in the classroom. Mm -hmm. So it's a complete, it's complete whole new different perspective to teach children with the mindset that it's all about identify issue, provide 
simple, effective solution. Mm -hmm. Most important, they dream big in terms of, hey, I want to replicate, I want to open businesses, I want to open jobs, I want to spread prosperity. Yeah, yeah, thank you. That's, that's a great question. Um, the way we see the school scaling up and the mechanism to it to affect the community is that uh, currently I was able to purchase the land. So we own the land for to build the school. And uh, that's a big deal uh, because usually it's the hardest part. Um, so another thing is that we want to see um, on top of the mechanism that I described earlier, we want to see hopefully think about children that are going to open businesses for after high school and some of the children might want to continue in college. So we all just start to think in that perspective in terms of secure another location for long-term expansion of the school into higher education. Right. So it's not just a project that is going to limit our kids to it. We're already thinking about big. And second thing is that we are planning to have on site is a training center where researchers can come from here to the to Africa to stay, conduct research about the school, find a way they can better assist the children uh, in to help you know the school go in terms of quality too. In terms of how does the children can help change the community? Many people like myself growing up in Africa, most of the time when we have education, we want to go work for the government. Okay. So being able to have a school like this where kids can learn skills and become entrepreneurs is a big deal. Once it's going to reduce uh, that strong competitiveness to get a job in the government, but instead kids can turn the focus in opening their own business. Okay, we throw the skills and all different problems we're going to offer. By doing so, what happened? Well, through education, they can bridge the gap of poverty. If they open their own business, run it well, they don't have to depend on the government. They can take on themselves, their family, and that's good. And second, open businesses means that they can also, they're going to need to hire people. So they're going to create jobs. Mm -hmm. By creating jobs, that's additional income screen that they can, the people in the community can have access to in order to take care of the family too. And lastly, we depend a lot in terms of buying food from other countries. So being able to train children to produce their own healthy food, to produce their own healthy protein through initiatives like poultry business, fish, is going to help kids also access healthy food that them so they can grow in the backyard. Mm -hmm. You know, there's economic impact in terms of revenue, jobs impact in terms of kids have access to job, and there's most important there's some also environmental and health issue or food security because right. they are able to produce locally food.